welcome back to the channel. It's Evelyn here, as usual, with the gorgeous Lady Luna just to my side here. I hope that you are safe and well, my friends, and a huge thank you to each and every single one of you for your love and support for this, my very own little creative corner of the internet here on YouTube. As you can probably see, my friends, from the sun streaming through the window of my craft room, hopefully fingers crossed spring is here and I'm really hoping that that is the case because very shortly I'm going to embark on my first vacation for years and I'm so so excited about that. So that brings me to what we're going to be doing here on the channel for the next few weeks. I'm going to be creating my dream spring vacation capsule wardrobe, a me made wardrobe to take with me on my holidays and yes I'm taking the gorgeous Lady Luna with me. So today, my friends, it's all about planning as I hit up those me-made stashes. Going to check out some new fabrics for some possible future projects to add to this little wardrobe. And I'm also gonna check out my me-made wardrobe staples and also begin to cycle my wardrobe, moving my autumn and winter makes into storage to make way for my spring and summer makes. Love this time of year because it really starts to feel like summer is really on its way. And I'm also going to hit up a stash that I haven't looked at for a while. Yes, I'm talking about that bin that every seamstress and sewist has, my friends. The bin of things that need to be fixed or finished. Definitely needs to be done. So I'm going to grab myself a pen and a notebook and get to some planning. Let's create my dream spring wardrobe. Let's go. Okay friends, it's time to raid my wardrobe in my dressing room and music room. So let's get in that wardrobe. And I'm really, really proud of this, my friends. About 85% of the clothes I wear day to day are actually me made creations now. I feel like that's a big achievement. Definitely proud of that. So here is my current wardrobe. It is still autumn and winter based. I am going to cycle it soon to spring and summer, but let's check out what I'd like to take from in here. So I definitely need some pajamas. So I'm thinking about taking my Harlow pajama set if it's cooler weather. And this is a three piece set with a long sleeve top, a short sleeve top and trousers and this is part of a free pattern from the lovely Gertie at Charm Patterns. I'll pop all the links and everything in the description box as usual my friends so if it's cooler weather I definitely want to take those but I'm really hoping my friends that it is warmer weather and if it is I want to take this. This is a cute little set. It's a baby doll and matching shorts and it's actually created using a true vintage pattern. I really would like to be able to take that with me. So this gorgeous baby doll set, if it's warmer, if not, if it's cooler weather, my Harlow pajamas. So I'm not entirely sure that there's much more in this winter wardrobe that I want to take with me because I'm really hoping it's going to be warmer but if it's not I'll definitely take my Elsa culottes and matching Rizzo jacket and then I've got a few pairs of orgy pants and self-drafted things in here that I will take if it's cooler but we are optimistic it's going to be warm so I definitely want to take these my cherry red Loretta shorts that I recently refitted right here on the channel and I absolutely love this colour. And, ah, I think I'm also going to take my heart print card again that I also created right here on the channel recently, my friends, because look how well it goes with my shorts. I'm really proud of this card again. It's actually one of my ultimate favourite makes. And I show you exactly how to create it. Draft it and sew it right here on the channel. So be sure to check that out. I'll pop a link in the description box. But apart from that, I think that's probably everything I want to take if it's warmer from this wardrobe. So let's hit up the next place to have a look, shall we, my friends? Another place that I can raid my friends for possible things for this spring wardrobe. Oh, look, you can see my beagle socks. <laughs> wearing beagle socks today is in my sewing room and it's up here 
I don't know if anybody else has a box like this, my friends, if you are a sewer or a creator, but this is full of my unfinished projects or things that need fitting. So I'm gonna grab that down and see if there's anything in there that is helpful for the spring capsule wardrobe. Let's see. So that look inside that box proved quite successful, my friends, because I found these two things. So this is a pair of denim coloured seating capri trousers and they are from the book Gertie Sews Vintage Casual. And well, one of the usual problems, my friends, the zip broke, but I actually did install a new one on these and it's working and it's great. For some reason, the waistband just never got put back onto these capri trousers so i'm going to do that because they're perfect they're a perfect addition to the spring wardrobe so i've got those there and then i've got these so this is some navy suiting and these are wide leg trousers my friends that i used the pattern from my recent jumpsuit here on the channel i'll pop a card above to that and i just made a simple pair of trousers using that trouser pattern and added a waistband. The only thing that these trousers need, my friends, a hook and bar on the back. That's literally it. So there's two items already that are so close to being finished that I can add to this spring capsule wardrobe. So definitely do make sure to check your unfinished bins and boxes and things, my friends, because there could be some real treats in there. While I'm in here to my friends in my craft room, I've also got this. This cardboard box here is full of my most recent fabric haul. And there are fabrics in here from Oh So Crafty and Night and Fabrics. I'll pop links to both in the description box, my friends. Quite a lot of spring and summery fabrics in here. This gorgeous daisy print cotton and this beautiful indigo denim as well, which I think I'm going to make into some shorts perhaps. This is a Liverpool knit, some cottons, some scoop crepe and there's some jersey fabrics here as well. So there's a possibility of making something with those as well. So my friends, this is where the spring and summer me made wardrobes are currently stored on top of the wardrobe in the music and dressing room, in those two boxes there and in that vacuum bag there. Oh look, another hint of my nerdishness with my Star Wars Lego. <laughs> in every video, my friends, you can see little hints of my nerdishness. So I know that there are things in that storage that I want to take with me. One of them being my Jane Set play suit that I wore a few summers ago for my Siren cosplay. I'll pop a little picture of that above. And I want to take that particularly because if it is warm enough to swim in the sea, that is made of scuba, so it's perfect a swimsuit too. So I'm going to check that out too. So my friends, I've got down my summer and spring me made wardrobes, in particular this vacuum pack here. And I've got out the two things that I know I definitely want to take with me. One is this gathered skirt in the most gorgeous navy flower print scuba. And that's actually from my videos on the very first summer that I was on YouTube. And I'll pop a card above and a link in the description box. The only thing this needs is a hook and bar. Um, because I've actually run out of these and there's something that I always seem to run out of. Other notions, I've got lots of hook and bars. Mm, I seem to run out of those quite quickly. So definitely going to take that. And then the other thing is this. The gorgeous Jane playset in scuba. A bit wrinkled, needs a bit of a steam, but this can work well as a play suit and as a swimsuit, should the weather enable me to do that. Oh, I hope it does. I absolutely love swimming in the sea, especially up here in the Highlands of Scotland. The beaches are incredible. So definitely taking that as well. Now, there are a few things in here as well that definitely should not be here and should definitely be actually on hangers even though you might not wear them all year round. And that is one of those things is this 
my gorgeous Liz dress. I'll pop a picture of it to the side of the screen so you can see it on. That definitely needs to go on a hanger in my wardrobe because it should have pride of place because, let's be honest, it's one of the best creations I've ever made. So that needs to go in the wardrobe. Then there's quite a few things in here as well that I would love to take with me, but I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of taking lots of things and be much better at doing little capsule wardrobes. So although I've got this gorgeous waterfall dress here from Charm Patterns there, and I've got a shirt, a skirt and some other things out of this absolutely gorgeous cotton sateen that formed a capsule summer wardrobe last year. I'll pop a card above if I've got any left, my friends, but there'll definitely be a link in the description box. So, another two things there that I'm going to take. So, I think what I'm going to do now is make a list of the things that I'm definitely taking and see if there are any gaps and how they can be filled. Let's go create a list. I love lists. How nerdy. Okay friends, so that is the navy pair of palazzo trousers with a new hook and bar nicely sewn on there. The Capri trousers, I am going to start putting notes on things when I put them into to be finished boxes and things like that because that zip was actually still broken so it looked like it was maybe an intermittent issue um, because when I did unzip and zip those capri trousers a few times it was fine and then when I went to add the waistband back on the zip failed again so I'm going to put those back in the to do box and I will hopefully sort those in the future but these navy ones are now finished So now that all those cupboards have been raided, it's time to make a plan. I already have the first six items in this spring vacation capsule wardrobe. My red Loretta shorts, navy palazzo pants, Jane play suit which can double as a swimsuit if it's warm enough, my floral gathered skirt, my Harlow pyjamas or baby doll set depending on the temperature and my heart print cardigan, one of my favourite and most recent makes. I also have that blue spring sweater to finish. I'm going to take my favourite sun hats, sunglasses and a hair scarf and flower or two. Thinking about shoes, I would like to create another pair of dyed canvas pumps, just like these ones that I made for my Siren cosplay a few summers ago. I'll put all of the links in the description box, my friends. Looking at this plan though, there's definitely something rather important missing. Tops. I definitely need those. I'm going to add in the turquoise wrap top that I made for my summer wardrobe last year from a tutorial right here on the channel. And I think another Charm Patterns Rita top is on the cards too, after the success of this one from one of my most recent sewing vlogs. To finish this little capsule, I'm thinking about creating a longer sleeved Charm Patterns Hepburn top. And to create those new tops, I'm going to need one thing, fabric. So it's time to hit that fabric stash. Okay, my friends, so here is the fabric stash. Now, I'm not afraid to say that this is in quite a state of disarray currently, and it wasn't until I started searching for fabrics for another project recently. It was all sorted and all nice and actually now it's a bit chaos. Um, actually these vacuum bags are great for space saving but they break quite easily and they're not the best way of sorting fabric because you can't really see what's in them. So I'm definitely going to have a rethink of how to sort and structure this area. But I have seen something that I want to make a Hepburn and a Rita out of that would work with the colours and styles that I already have in the capsule wardrobe and that is this. This absolutely gorgeous lemon coloured ponty fabric. 
So I'm going to grab that out. That is going to become a three quarter length round neckline hat bun top and also a knit Rita blouse too. So let's grab the hat. Okay, so I have my lemon ponty, but I've also been looking in my box of most recent fabric. And you can see here, I've got my gathered skirt and my Jane set play suit here. So I know where they are. This also needs a hook and bar at the waistband. So I've got that there, and that's what I need to do that. I've also come across this absolutely gorgeous daisy print jersey. So I'm thinking I might make two knit Rita tops. And with that in mind, I was thinking I need a pair of shorts to go with this, to go in the capsule wardrobe, because I'm not 100% sure how a Rita top in this colour is going to go with those red shorts. So I've grabbed something else from my me made wardrobe. These! This is a pair of navy suiting Jane set shorts that I created a few years ago. So those are going to go into the capsule wardrobe too, my friends. Phew. So there we go, my friends. We have a plan. And yes, you've probably noticed, Luna has not moved the entire time that I've been planning that wardrobe. The life of a beagle <laughs> definitely seems like fun. Very relaxing. Hello, darling. Are you sweetheart? <laughs> so until next week, my friends, <laughs> when I get to creating that wardrobe. Hello, sweetheart. Take care. Bye bye. Oh, hello, sweetie. Oh, hi, darling. Hello. <laughs> Have you been asleep? Have you been asleep? Hello! Hello! Hi! Hello! I love you too, I love you. Yes. Hello, darling. I know! You've been asleeping! <laughs> Did you forget? Did you forget?